Um, I'll start by getting your thoughts on Saturday's result and performance. Now you've had a bit of time to think about it, reflect. What did you make of the game? Um, it's just, yeah, it was disappointing. Obviously, we go in at half time and we're 2 1 up. And yeah, we, we had a chat at half time because we, we didn't feel like we were good enough in the first half. And um, yeah, coming at 2 1 when you're not playing that well is, is decent. And we've got a at least we've got to come out of that is with a draw if, if you're not playing well. Uh, but yeah, disappointing that we that we lost and we've done some analysis today and uh, gone on why why we why we think we lost the game and um, yeah, working on that and hopefully put it right tomorrow. What were the main things to come out of that analysis? Um, just um, positioning really, positional play. There was a few uh, new players in the in the team, so obviously uh, they only had a couple of days to get you know like oh, how we how we've been playing. So um, yeah, just positioning. I suppose that's the downside, isn't it, to having such a productive window when you see so many fresh faces come through the door and it's exciting in one breath, but you've still got to afford yourself some time to gel, work on those relationships, build that unity that many of you showed over the festive period. Yeah, yeah 100%. I think I think that's um, where the majority of our games we've won because we've had a team unity there. We've, we've all worked hard for each other and uh, we obviously want to deal with, the, with um, obviously, Rowie, uh, being ill and that, um, but we had the new lads come in and they did well. To be fair, we I spoke to them after the game and just said there was good debuts. But um, yeah, we was all disappointed with the with the result. What is the morale like at the moment? And take, of course, the disappointment out of the equation right now. But I remember speaking to you after the Crawley game, uh, right back at the start of the interim charge of, of Mark and Connor, and it's. Well, a lot's happened since then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can say that. Uh, yeah, I think we're all full of confidence. I think we we go into a game at, at the moment, uh, knowing that we can win it. And um, yeah, obviously, uh, we've added a few new faces into the camp, and they've they've settled in really well so far. So uh, hopefully, more positive. Um, what did sorry, sorry. sorry? What what do Mark and Connor bring to the table in terms of the preparation? and the time that's put in on the training field. We've heard from so many of you mm. since they've taken over about the the due diligence that goes into the preparation that you guys receive. Yeah, it's, it's fresh ideas. They're obviously two new managers. They've, they've uh, done well with the youth team and they've come up and they uh, work really hard. You can tell they, they put a lot of work in behind the scenes to get us right for games. And we're going into games going up, knowing what we're going up against when... Like I, I obviously get sent uh, clips of their centre midfielders, so I'm going into games knowing what they're good at and what not, what not so good at. Do you know what I mean? So it helps mm. me. What's the key message for you then individually in those moments? Because we've seen you of late yeah. making challenges, timing your challenge as well, but then breaking forward. You, you're performing defensively. You're performing offensively. So what what's their message to you? Um, I've, I've just got a lot of energy, Anna. So. Um, just using that uh, to the best of my ability. I, I I know when I play, when I when I defend, I know how hard it is going the other way. No no nobody wants to go the other way. So if I can take my man the other way, I know maybe maybe like nine times out of ten he follows me, but that one time I'm in. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, mm. uh, just just going the other way and obviously doing the defensive uh, side of it as well. And we've done that of, of recent. It's the age-old thing, isn't it, for players? They respond differently to different tactics, different management styles, different ways of being coached. Yeah. For you then, what's the way that you respond to the best? It feels as if, from a collective perspective, that there's been a great deal of clarity put onto you guys from Mark and Connor. Yeah. Um, obviously, the partnership is a settled partnership now with me and Elliot in there. So uh, it helps when you've got a, a bond with an, another player, do you know what I mean? And we're close off the pitch as well. So... Uh, yeah, to have that kind of uh, player in there who's always, who's been playing with late with me. So, uh, yeah, I think the stability of the team has been good. You've alluded to something that I was going to mention, your relationship seemingly with Elliot off yeah. the field as well. As a bystander, it's been rather entertaining watching your antics on social <laughs> media. But um, how good is that relationship that you guys have got? Uh, yeah, I think, to be honest, I think I'm, I'm close with everyone here. Uh, obviously, Elliot, I speak to him outside of football, but Woody as well. I speak to him. I speak to him most days outside of football. So, uh, yeah, to have like friends within in this uh, club, uh, I've settled in like fairly quick. 
How important is that for a player, as you say, settling into a football club? And I think to your own admission, when we've spoken previously, it was probably uh, not the start that you will have wanted in, in Bradford City colours, but certainly over the games of late, it feels like you've really settled into that starting eleven. Yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, we all know what happened when I first came and it wasn't ideal, like, but uh, yeah, I've, 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 I always look back at that Barrow game and probably think it's the best thing that ever happened to me and... Uh, now I'm going into games with much more confidence and uh, not throwing my weight around as much as I used to. So uh, and be more like, just be more intelligent with my tackling and stuff like that. I still go into tackles, don't get me wrong, but it's just I know you can't tackle like I used to. So um, uh, yeah, just just be more clever with it and um, yeah. I remember when we spoke after that Barrow game, or not too long after it anyway. We used that word perspective. Have you taken a lot away then from from that experience? Yeah, hundred percent. I I speak to my missus all the time about it. I spoke spoke to a few of the lads here, just saying, like like I said a minute ago, it's just probably the best thing that ever happened to me. Um, going into games, um, a lot more calmer and um, not getting riled up. Well, if it goes ahead, and if if you are selected, uh, I imagine it'll be a, a big game for you personally uh, tomorrow night against your former side. Uh, how are you sizing that one up? Yeah, uh, at the start of the season, when the fixtures came out, it was probably one of the first fixtures I looked at. I obviously wanted to wanted to go back there and uh, perform well. Um, obviously, left there in the summer. Um, a few familiar faces as well to go see, so uh, I'm excited. Will you at all be emotional? At all? I know it's a club that you spent a lot of time at when you were when you were in your your formative years of your career. Yeah. Um, Part of me, yeah, maybe. Um, yeah, uh, my old man um, supported him, took me to games as well. So, uh, yeah, uh, be, be a bit emotional because obviously he passed like two years ago. So to, to be there and him not be there is be a bit emotional because obviously he never saw me come to Bradford. So, uh, yeah, be a bit emotional. What are your memories of your time at Scunthorpe, Levi? Yeah, uh, happy memories. Um Obviously, towards the end, with with the, with the two um, promotion runs we had um, in League One, uh, obviously didn't go too great towards the end. But uh, overall, happy memories. And when you play, how important is it for you to keep those emotions in check? Because clearly, it's going to be a very emotionally driven performance for you. So to keep that that level head when when you're yeah. out on the field. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like I said, like I keep saying about the Barrow game, um, yeah. I'm I'm more emotion. Like I can just go into games now and not get too emotionally attached to them. So I I feel like this Scunthorpe game will just I'll take it as any other game really. Will it be strange with there being no fans at the ground as well? I mean, I know when players go back to former size, that's all part and parcel of the occasion, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I suppose so because obviously the last time I played there only lasted four minutes, and that was against Grimsby. So. Uh, yeah, I didn't never really had a, never really got to say, to, never really got to say bye to him really, and um, there was there was good to me to be fair. So uh, yeah, um, I looked at it at the start of the season and thought, oh, fans might be in back then, but obviously circumstances change. So um, yeah, I'll just go into it like any other game, and hopefully we can uh, get a good performance.